have your way in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, I pray, Father. I pray, Lord, and bind every wicked spirit. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we begin to call for the church. We call full gospel, grand talks, North Dakota. You are coming forth. The world is waiting for you. You are coming forth. You are exploding. The world is waiting for you. So we'll begin to call the church. We'll call this church forth. We'll call the church forth. You'll call full gospel. North Dakota Grand Fox, we call you for, we call you for in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Yes, Lord, I pray. U.S. Full Gospel Mission Grand Fox, North Dakota, we call you for in the name of Jesus. We are breaking forth. We are excluding in glory. We are excluding in the power of God. And souls will be saved. Many souls will be saved in this city. We call you for U.S. Full Gospel permission in grand folks know that Luca, we call you for you are breaking for you are breaking forth in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we ask that your glory will come. We ask God for your spirit and we call for the church. We say the church is breaking forth. The church is excluded in glory. The church is excluded in the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Lord arise. Lord arise. Lord arise. Arise in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise in the name of Jesus. Robos in the Kerebova, Rebola Casolo Cobova, Raymo Malacas in the Kerebova. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We we'll pray for our pastors now and say God will begin to use them to do miracles. God will begin to use them to bring forth mysteries that anything that is hindering them. For the hand of God mm. to show forth in their lives. Mm. For the hand of God to break forth in their lives. In a mighty way. What we were asking for. Something mighty. Mm. Something that will be spectacular. That they will be different. That when they see them. When they see them. They will know that this, this man had been with Jesus. Mm. You know mm. when the disciples. They spoke. The people said this man. They noticed. They take note. That yeah. they have been with Jesus. Yeah. There is something that happens to the person that is with Jesus. Mm -hmm. That. You cannot gainsay it. Mm -hmm. You cannot argue it. So let's pray that the hand of God will comfort on our pastors. Yeah. And God will begin to Thank use them. Know. God will begin to use mm -hmm. them to do miracles. God will begin to use them to Thank preach his word in a, in a way that the mysteries of Christ will be revealed yes. in their life. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord, I pray, Lord. I pray, Father, we pray for Father. pastors. We oh, pray Jesus, for my life. We pray for We pray that Lord, God will begin to use them. We pray that you straight for your hand to Jesus. Straight for your hand in the church. To do signs and wonders. Straight for your hand in the church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Another thing that the devil does is. When yeah. we were praying, the Lord made him heart. You know, when Jesus said, out, what caused you know, the, 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 his disciples to be outstanding was the fact that when Jesus sent them out, they had one vision. The Great Commission was their main focus. That which Jesus wanted them to do, and he anointed them with power. And he said they would do miracles. But there was one vision. It was one thing. All of them, as they did what they did, they had one focus. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is making him that we should pray for our pastors. That they will have one vision. They will have one focus. If that which the Lord did in the you know the former in the church, in the in the, in the former mm -hmm. church, if we, we want it to happen again through our pastors, we need to have one vision. 
the Great Commission, discipleship, work, there's that work with God, that same spirit, that it will be upon them. Because that is what I believe if the devil wants to target, he will target it and want to destroy it and bring different ideas, that there will be agreement. That as the Holy Spirit reveals something to one man, he will reveal to the other. That there will not be division in thoughts, but that everything will be one. Mm -hmm. That there will be one in spirit and they will have one vision. So that that which the Lord desires to use through them, he will do it. If truly that vision that the servant of God saw for this church mm -hmm. is this church, that is what will cause the fire to go up. Mm -hmm. If not, that fire will not be able to grow. The fire will keep coming down because of disagreement. But if there is unity in spirit, unity in talk, unity in thought, mm -hmm. it will begin to work in a way that you know, as will, things that will happen. Believe me, that things that truly, as the Lord has promised, that things that minds have not even imagined. Mm -hmm. Father, dear Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord, for the spirit of oneness, unity in purpose, unity, Lord, in the vision, unity in, in burden, unity in the spirit, unity, Father, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, I pray for oneness, oneness in burden, oneness in vision, oneness in what the Holy Spirit wants. Happy away, Lord. Communicate, Lord. Communicate, Jesus. We need you, Holy Spirit. I pray for your heart. I pray for your grace. I ask Jesus that you have your way, Lord. Have your way, Father. We need you, Holy Spirit. I pray, Jesus. I pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, that may we agree in the Spirit, may we agree, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit. We pray for you. We pray for you. We pray, we pray Jesus. We ask you to have your way. We ask you to have your way, Jesus. We need you, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit. 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 in the name of Jesus, we yes. pray. Amen. Now, praying for our pastor is very important. You remember when uh, Jesus said about Simon Peter? He said, Simon, Satan desires to have you, but I have prayed for you that mm -hmm. your faith will not fail. Mm -hmm. He said, when you are, when you, when you are uh, strong, strong, you strengthen your yeah, brethren. Yeah. Now, if we pray for our pastors, when, when they stand strong, it's for the good of the church mm -hmm. because they will strengthen the church. Mm -hmm. But it will just let them lose. The devil will come, and if they're weak, the church will become weak because the church is standing on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we'll pray for their families. Yeah. We'll pray that the devil will not attack them. The devil will not attack their families. The devil will not attack their marriage. The devil will not attack their homes. Because we don't know what is going on in their homes. We don't know what is going on with their children. We don't know what is going on with their wives. But we'll pray that anything that has been planned by the devil to attack them in their marriages, in their homes, we break the power of Satan in the name of Jesus. Amen. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father. Oh Lord, I pray for my life again. And my soul I pray, Lord, against every attack of the enemy, against our marriage, against our home. We come against every scheme of the devil. We come against every plan of the devil. Yes, 
The children of pastors always turn out sometimes because they have been brought out the homes that everything is so strict. And sometimes when they go out there and they see a different kind of life, they just become wayward and they just leave the Christianity. Let's pray that our the children of our pastors they will not become they will, when they grow up they will remain in the faith. Mm. They will not become wayward when they get mat when they match up. They will not depart from the faith. They will not become a source of pain. Like the children of Eli, you know the sons of Eli were a source of pain to Eli, mm -hmm. even though he was a priest. Mm -hmm. But they made Eli so miserable. So let's pray that the children of our pastors, when they grow up, they will not depart from the faith mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. What we are praying about is very serious because if something happens like, you know, I mean, it has happened in our family where, for example, my uncle in Douala, who has been a big pastor for a long time, because of the way, the life that his daughter lived, the daughters, you know, and this causes it in such a way that when he goes out to even evangelize to people, mm -hmm. or to want to reach out to people, they will be, you know, they will be referring back to the kids. To his children. Saying mm -hmm. that if he cannot bring up the kids in that same way that he's saying, there is no way that, you know, they can follow. So 